Hello there, and today we're going to be taking a look at some variable loaders. So both of these designs use almost the same size, and they're both global reset loaders. The only difference is that this one behind me is made for 1.12, and this one is made for modern versions. So let's get right into the video. To start with, let's quickly go over what a variable loader actually is. So what happens is the items will come in here, they'll go over this pressure plate, and then they'll go into these filters. And if you look in them, you'll see that they're not actually got any filter items. Instead, what happens, is they'll go in here, then what will happen is this pressure plate will trigger a pulse extender, and they'll change these lines to be signal strength free instead, which means that the hoppers can hold a higher amount of items. So then what will happen is they'll assign filters themselves. So you can have up to 24 with this one and up to 22 with this one. So that's around 196,000 per hour. Then when the items stop coming in through here and stop going over the pressure plate, then this pulse extender will wait a little while before turning it back to single strength 2 which lowers the threshold of the again and it'll drain all the filter items until it's just got this left. So then all the filter items will have a chance to go into the shulker boxes and when they're all out of the shulker boxes then shulkers will be broken and sent out of this stream here. And that basically means that it can take any item types that come in, load them into single boxes of that item type and then output it like that. And then when items stop going through, it'll also break any partial boxes. So some good uses for this would be something like a concrete factory storage, as otherwise you'd have to have quite a few filtered loaders to deal with all different item types. With this, you just need one of these to hold all the different item types, as it can reassign to the different type of concrete that's coming in at the time. Finally, I'd like to say that quite a bit of this was inspired by the house loader, such as these lines up at the top to see when the filter items are gone out of these hoppers. That was taken directly from that loader. And also the concept of having these lines going over top and changing the signal strength at the bottom of the loader. That was also taken from the house loader. However, everything else was independently wired. And this slice design, though it is similar to the ones by Keishichan, where I came up with independently at another time. But it is pretty similar other than this bottom bit. And as always, of course, the schematics are in the description. So if you want to use any of these designs, you can find them there. And also remember to join the Disclosure Discord. So good. Bye.